Mike Trout here, and I'm headed to L.A. Um, this weekend to um, Crypto Invest Summit. The Crypto Invest Summit, which is being hosted by my friend Alon, who I've known for a long time talking about found-ups, and I'm really looking forward to be one of the 4,500 individuals there um, talking about the blockchain. Now, for me, the blockchain has a very, very specific purpose and reason for its existence. It's a reason that I communicated to the founders of Ethereum back in 2011, early 2012, when I reached out to them to try to build something I called the Open Innovation Framework, OIF. OIF is something that I knew we needed in order to do one thing, and this is, is the reason of the blockchain. OIF is the blockchain. Now, I should make a caveat um, and explain. Back then, we didn't talk about blockchain. We talked about Bitcoin, but we did not talk about the underlying technology of Bitcoin, which is the blockchain. Now, I could describe all the different things. The idea of passive crowdfunding, the idea of these perspectives, which are really short ex explainers on what the projects you're going to be, and the, the idea of ICOs. Now, how ICOs worked in my method was actually at the end of the process. How ICOs are working actually on the blockchain or in, on the open innovation framework now is at the beginning of the process where you write either a one pager, a five pager, and a white paper on that thing that you are building. Um, that's one of the differences. But the idea of tokenization and everything else was described in the Open Innovation Framework. And there is EOIF, or you call Ethereum. There's ROIF, which is Ripple. And there's literally hundreds of other OIFs out there. But they're all, it's all an Open Innovation Framework. No longer are we basically uh, startups, which I call, you know, really these are uh, startups, aren't happening any longer just in Silicon Valley as they did in the past. They're happening all over the world has these initial coin offerings. Um, the problem is, is there's a lot of fraud. You don't know what's going on. And the other thing is, is the number of, of these ICOs are going to go, go get bigger and bigger and more and more and more. And it's simply going to be pretty much in, very difficult for you to know which are the ones to in, in invest in, be part of, um, and which ones not to. And that's where what we're doing comes in place. Something called the Decentralized Crypto Fund um, is a fund where you can hold one token and that one token is 100% vested in all these other tokens out there. Um, now, before we get to the DCF fund, right, what we want to do is allow folks to easily get into cryptos, very simply. And that's why we're actually in the process of developing something called Swap Fund IO. Swap Fund, Swap Fund IO is a way for you to exchange a token for a bunch of other tokens that are already in set up as, as we believe are the best um, funds out there. And then you can exchange out of that fund, right? and get your ether back. So it's gonna be ECR20 and Bitcoin, um, Bitcoin Cash and so on, that you will be able to swap back and forth. Call a swap fund. So um, the process is gonna be setting up a swap fund, setting up the DC, uh, DCF, and then the profits that we generate from providing this service we'll use to launch FoundUps. And that's where things get really exciting. Like I said before, as I started this talk, what is the purpose of the blockchain? Well, the purpose of the blockchain is to introduce an alternative business model, a model that is not built on what I call um, CAGR, compounded annual growth rate, but one that is built on CABR, compounded annual benefit rate. CAGR um, basically treats our world as, a, as an infinite object with a limited growth. We always talk about, hey, we want 3% growth per year. Well, guess what? In, you know, something like 70 years, if you were, it's, that's exponential growth. 
you have doubling of the amount. You can't have doubling, doubling, doubling of, of resource consumption, of population growth, and everything else. It's just not possible. CABR, compounded annual benefit rate, is not built on those same matrices that drive the stock market and everything else it does. Instead, it looks at what is that thing that you're doing to the planet and ultimately um, it calculates the valuation based on that thing, right? And the valuation of objects in a new framework is what's going to allow us to move away from CABR, which I call, you know, proof of ROI, return on investment, based on, you know, infinite growth, um, to one that is proof of benefit that is, that is, that is structured on, on finite growth metrics. So the whole purpose of the blockchain, getting back to the original thing, is to move us away from the current insane business model built on CAGR to one that is built on CABR. Um, unless we do that, we, we risk losing everything. We risk, you know, well, we are losing everything. I mean, I was just turned on the news today and they were like, wow, we see these holes in the ice we've never seen before. They have never seen these holes. And obviously, it's because of the warm water underneath it, uh, which, is, which is melting the ice in those spots. But I love how the news announces, well, it could be animals breathing. We just don't know. Never seen before. <laughs> in fact, we're losing 70% of our animals in the next 50 years. 70% of our species are going extinct. They're going extinct as we speak. Um, you know, um, and as long as we have a system built on taking advantage of individuals, built on providing returns to small amounts of individuals, then we're going to have a problem that's a planet that is going to fail. And it is failing um, in a very massive way. So the only way to stop this is the blockchain. The blockchain provides us a way out. Now the problem is, is that 99.9% um, .9 of the ICOs and other projects on the blockchain don't get it. They're just going business as usual. Hey, we're launching projects built on CABR. We're providing investors returns based on CABR. Like all these things are gonna grow exponentially. Um, even Vitalik says, hey, I'm not gonna give out any more of my Ethereum. Stop bu bugging me for Ethereum. <laughs> all he gets is spam <laughs> for his Ethereum um, investments. And he even said, hey, we should have something called a DICO, which is uh, um, like a, a distributed organization ICO, right, a DICO. So, Danos are all launched as Dicos. Um, and, um, yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed this talk. Eight minutes. Purpose of the blockchain, change our business model. How are we going to do it? Well, we're going to do a three-step pro process. First one is we're going to provide a service for anyone to be able to get into cryptos. It's really simple, really easy, just by exchanging, swapping your coin for a fund, right? For a fund is a whole group of coins. And then we're going to launch, basically... Danos, which will be, uh, not Danos, <laughs> decentralized autonomous, um, decentralized crypto um, funds, DCFs. DCFs will be ICO, blocks of ICOs that you can get into. And each stage, um, what we'll do is allow folks to get into these great ICOs at even higher risk. So the idea is you take your profits from your swap fund and you invest them into DCFs. That's it. Really, really stupid simple. My name is Mike Trout here in Florida, picking up the paper, going for a morning walk, and explaining to you uh, why found ups is important. And just as I launched it nearly eight years ago, to, well, over eight years ago, in 2009, 2010, it is relevant today. Um, we're just getting started.